uh, if I call this the forthcoming crash, uh, I think most of you will be shocked to hear that uh, the market is going to crash. I let me very quickly add my favorite statement. I do not know when the market is going to crash, but I know one thing: the market is going to crash. So, what all can you do to be prepared for a crash? That is what we can prepare, and I have done many videos on this. So, so one more, right? So, first of all, understand that the market will fall thirty uh, percent once in a while, right? Say like March two thousand two zero two zero. None of us knew that was something. The word COVID was unheard of, right? The Wuhan was unheard of. The Chinese virus. Uh, going to be unleashed on people was unheard of, and uh, which was worsened by your companies like Pfizer and uh, the U.S. admin uh, was much worse. But anyway, I am digressing. So the markets will crash. Markets will crash once in ten years by thirty percent, and once in a few years by ten percent, and regularly by one or two percent. This is a phenomena which you can't avoid. Uh, one way to uh, reduce the stress during such uh, uh, drawdowns is to have a diversified portfolio or do you have you say i'm i'm very confident that my equity portfolio is big enough my dividend income is good enough and my dividend income will go into some uh, long term debt but other than that i'm happy with my equity portfolio because 10 years expenses are anyway lying in some debt form or the other right so when you are in that comfortable position your asset allocation may not make sense like for example i could be 97% in equity and 3% in debt but that 3% would be sufficient for me to meet the next say 10 years of expenses and the dividend income out of this uh, equity portfolio may be more than adequate for me so that i don't have to worry so uh, either way you can do an asset allocation either in your mind or in or physically or that your um, spouse has a job in an iit and uh, he or she is a professor and that is a tenured job and you are now only 40 years of age you know this is going to last another 28 years so it does not bother you that could be another way of diversification uh remember one thing no one of us can predict when the market will crash and how long the market will stay down uh, right now people believe that uh, if the market goes down in uh, march it will recover by september remember historically speaking covid crashes was one of the sharpest recoveries right it may not always happen that the recovery is so fast none of us can predict when the market will fall how long it will stay there when it will come up the market sees things a little in advance so uh, the market can move in a direction completely opposite to how the corporate uh, world is doing so you find very good results coming in the market not going up or you find very uh, bad results coming in the market remaining steady or going up this happens because the market is saying oh maybe the worst is over or market is saying oh god oh my god these results are so good next quarter it can't be repeated so market looks forward whereas we look at it on a daily basis so we look at today's results and say oh this uh, cholamandalam has produced fantastic result share should be going up and on that day the share could be going down simply because people knew that the result will be good they had already bought and now when the news is out they are selling so market can move in a direction opposite so you should know that so when the market moves in a direction which is opposite don't say don't keep denying saying no 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 the market is temporary this is temporary uh, yes it could be temporary it could be 3 months it could be 3 years be ready for that right um the standard bell curve is inadequate for real stock market returns don't get into it because they are all your returns can be in a few months uh, over a over a decade all your returns can be from three companies out of the 10 that you hold right look at psu bank shares last 11 year returns are reasonably good but one year return is just fantastic or maybe now last one and a half years return is good right but 11 year return is just about average 10 years they did nothing and then suddenly it went up why did it go up no idea i am not even getting into those things but remember uh congress government running psu companies and bjp government running psu companies is like almost change of management we can't anticipate all that right so i'm again digressing but just look at all those things so you don't know why uh, markets have gone up why markets have gone down hindustan aeronautics has done very well and bpcl has not done very well previous year bpcl had done very well and both are psus right of course one is a commodity one is a defense contractor but i'm just looking at this and saying 
all these things will happen so don't try finding a pattern as to oh psus are doing well commodities are doing well yes of course all these things happen but the ability to predict which one will do well how long will it um, uh, will coal india go down from say 240 or 250 currently to maybe 180 190 we don't know we don't know any of these things so don't try guessing on the basis of one or two companies or categories extreme events will happen right world war 2 happened though of course i don't agree with the word world war 2 it was a european war 1 european war 2 uh, africa and asia only contributed human bodies uh, to be killed in those wars but again i am digressing so remember these kind of events are not very rare covid is very rare yes uh, but uh, uh, financial problem in the us is not going to be very uh, very rare it happens pretty regularly right now they have a debt crisis which they may or may not admit but uh, those kind of things will be there and if there is a problem in the us remember the world will have a problem because their market cap is still 50% of the world's market cap so let's not pretend that oh we are decoupled nothing will happen everything will happen we will also be uh, very badly hit when america goes through a bad phase some companies may actually benefit some companies will be very badly hit we may again be benefiting by a lower crude price any of these things can happen so uh, when the market will crash we do not know if you are worried about a market crash you should be in less volatile assets uh, debt funds are good Uh, place to be now because uh, debt for uh, debt uh, rates are high so when the market uh, when the interest rates come down you will get portfolio appreciation this is not a bad time at all to be in debt instruments uh, you worry about taxation when it happens right so these are all things which uh, should be able to prepare you for a uh, for a market crash be ready for a market crash i have no clue when it will happen thank you